Jane Yolen, Welcome to the Ice House, illustrated by Laura Reagan. For Refna, who always made me welcome. For Bert Brent, fellow artist and great friend, thank you for your encouragement. Welcome to the Ice House, the snow and wintry blow house, where shades of white illuminate the lengthy winter night. Where well below the snowscape, caper lemmings in long tunnels, racing through the runnels to escape the singular arctic fox on the prowl. Or the howling wolf pack sniffing out the track of snowshoe hair, or ptarmigan, white as winter tide, but beware. Beware, for behind stalks a lynx, now quick, now slow, now silent as snow. But all give way, fox slimming lynx hair, to a ton of unpredictable moose on the loose. Or the hungry, tireless polar bear. Yet this is not just a landscape of snow blue sky above, ice below. The Arctic seas are blue and black beyond the ice crack. Swim gray and brown seals, spotted seal, ring seal, and harp. And slickly black, sleekly white, hunting through the lengthy Arctic night. Sure us an arrow's arc along the ocean trails. South of the ice come the streamlined killer whales. Here, too, swim dense herds, immense herds, of baggy-skinned, saggy-skinned, rust-colored walrus, strutting ivory tusks for defense. Above, in the sky, gyre falcon sails. Down below, beluga whales, singing like giant birds, welcoming the return of a moment of spring. For, as if on a single day, spring and summer return together. The weather softens, warms, and swarms of poppies and lupine burst open, grow, an explosion of color where once grew only ice and snow. When caribou with hooves like thunder cross the tundra. And the grizzly rises from its winter nap, grubbing roots, grabbing voles, and other small mammals from their holes. Birds return, too, to iceless lakes and snowless cliffs, swans, puffins, loons, and arctic terns, who journey from pole to pole, to rest, to nest. And then, brief moment, summer is gone. Winter comes again and lingers on and on and on. In the cold house, the ice house, the snow and wintry blue house, welcome to the ice house in the long winter night. Did you know, the area of the far north beyond the tree line is known as the Arctic. Once it was called the frigid zone and the barren lands. Non-natives believed that nothing could possibly live or grow there. The word arctic comes from the Greek arctos, which means bear. This does not mean the polar bear or the grizzly or any real bear that travels across the snowscape. Rather, it refers to the northern constellation called the bear. What do we find in the arctic? An enormous difference in temperatures between summer and winter, certainly. In the high country of the Arctic, as well as at sea level in Greenland and in the Canadian archipelago, there is permanent ice and snow. But more than three-fifths of the Arctic thaws in the summer under a continuous sun that never actually sets. This is the land of the long summer day, and in the Arctic summer there is a wonderful flowering of plants and a thundering return of wildlife. Then summer sets in again, then winter sets in again, the long night that is both white and cold, an ice house indeed.